A new court ruling will make it easier for the company behind the Houston to Dallas bullet train to take private land, but property owners are planning a showdown at the state Supreme Court. Jason Miles has both sides. Part of the long dead Northwest Mall site may eventually see new life as the local terminal for a Houston to Dallas bullet train. This rendering is among many Texas Central has released as it seeks to acquire land something easier to do thanks to a court ruling late last week. Well, we got a, a very favorable decision. Attorney Mary Yates represents the company now considered a legitimate railroad. Texas Central Partners does constitute an entity that under Texas law has authority to uh, survey property and when necessary to exercise eminent domain. That means the taking of private land for public use with fair market value compensation. Could the project have been done without eminent domain? Uh, no, I think you would need eminent domain to build a project along the route that um, has been approved by the federal authorities. Landowners along the proposed route, which runs mostly through rural areas, sued Texas Central to try and derail the project. The next legal step is an appeal to the Supreme Court. Dallas attorney Blake Beckham represents them and also serves as special counsel to the group Texans Against High Speed Rail, which takes issue with Texas Central in particular. Texas Central is a Japanese-backed company selling a 50-year-old Japanese train system, and the fact that they have infrastructure uh, power in an eminent domain context is, is very upsetting. Beckham claims Texas Central has raised less than 1% of the $15 billion needed for construction, and the company's own timetable may be more uncertain thanks to recent layoffs due to COVID-19. I'll tell you they're going with all speed possible to bring this to a conclusion for the people of Texas. Meanwhile, both sides are full steam ahead when it comes to building or blocking the bullet train. In Houston, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.